Amen, amen, and amen. Your grace and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. It is 2 o'clock p.m. in the East Standard Time, and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, Brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are so glad to do it. We hope that you are so glad that we are on at this time at 2 o'clock. We are so blessed to bring you this program at this time to put a step in your Christian walk and put a little joy in your life. Your Christian life, that is, at this time. Many Many of us believe that Christian life should be humdrum and bored. But I'm here to tell you, today, Brother Oscar, y'all is going to try to put a smile on your face and a purpose in your heart. Amen, amen, amen. We are so glad. We are so glad to be here. I hope everyone had a good morning. I hope you had a good breakfast. I hope everyone had a good afternoon. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful lunch. I hope you're ready to receive some spiritual food now here from the Word of God on chatting from the Word. Amen, amen, amen. We are so glad to be with you today here in Miamisburg, Ohio. I believe, I know, I'm looking outside my window. And it's beautiful, my friends. The only thing I can see is blue, blue. Well, a couple of clouds. I look real good here. I, I see a couple of clouds. Well, it's sunny, seventy-one degrees, and they say sixty. I believe sixty-four percent chance of rain. We hope it doesn't rain, but it's so beautiful outside. I wish you could be here. But you know, brother Oscar, you know what he believes. Regardless how beautiful it is on the outside, regardless how ugly it is on the outside, if you have the Son of God, you have sunny day every day, 24-7, because you have the Son of God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. We have a wonderful program for you today on tap. We hope that we can bring a little joy in your life and we can praise the Lord together today. Our first selection would be would be Luke Miles Jr. Jesus, I love calling your name. And that was produced by Humble List the Way. Amen, amen, and amen. And our selection after the prayer of time would be a... Oh, let me see here, you all. Let me see here, you all. Let me see here. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Luke Miles, not Luke Miles, uh, some kind of wonderful, some kind of wonderful, okay, and that, some kind of wonderful, I didn't write it down, I, I, I had it, I thought I had it in my notes, and, but we, we're gonna play some kind of wonderful, okay, and, um, of course, the lesson, um, no condemnation, no condemnation, and uh, we hope that you are ready to receive the lesson, because when you in Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation. What we have in Jesus Christ is forgiveness of sin. We have love and we have mercy. So it's just a good thing to be in Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. So, I hope you have your ears on, everybody. And I hope you're ready to receive this program today. 
I hope that you relax. And if you relax and if you're at home, go grab a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, soda pop, soda water, whatever you call it. <laughs> and just relax. Have a seat in your reclining chair. Or just stretch out on your couch. All right, you're at home anyway, so just stretch out on the floor while you listen to your brother Oscar here. Now, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road, but keep on listening to brother Oscar. Now, if you're in the gym or jogging or getting some fresh air and exercising, try to get buffed, put your earbuds on while you st- and keep while you're exercising, keep listening to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. Amen, amen, and amen. We will be right back after these messages. Amen, amen, amen. We are black. <laughs> black. <laughs> Excuse me. Got tongue tight there. We are back, and we're glad to be back. And as promised here, our next first election will be Luke Miles Jr. Jesus, I love calling your name. Here we go. Yeah. 
Hey man, hey man, hey man, that was Luke Miles Jr. Jesus, Jesus, I love calling your name. Well, I you can't sing you all, but I love calling on the name of Jesus. What about you? And, and when you think about it, going through what we're going through in this carnal, <laughs> carnal mind world, we as Christians need to call on the name of Jesus. But I don't know about you, my friends. But I call them in the morning. I call them at noontime. And I call him at night. Because I love, I love calling Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I'd love to remind you all as our listeners that you are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, on the Spiritual Platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are so glad, so glad to do it. We hope that you've been enjoying the show so far at this point. And we hope that we have put the joy and a smile in your heart today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. Uh, this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. Again, my email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. And my email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And uh, you can also message it to me. Put it on Messenger. If you have a prayer request, put it on our Facebook uh, uh, page, which is Chatting from the Word. Uh, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar York. That's OscarYorkPublishing.com. And uh, you can also I said, message it to me, okay, if you have a prayer request. And as, as we've been saying for a couple of months, we need to pray for... Uh, those that are contracted this coronavirus, uh, those that have lost loved ones to this uh, dreadful disease. Um, many governors are thinking about opening the state. Some have. And we just need to pray uh, for our nation at this time uh, that they make the right decision. And if they open it up, uh, we hope they take the right steps to protect uh, their customers, those that have businesses, and and those uh, 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 and people to protect themselves. Uh, they say about washing your hands and wearing your mask and gloves and uh, all that. So we hope that you all that truly love the Lord and you love your neighbors, uh, that you have them you know, in your hearts and you protect others by being cautioned uh, during this pandemic. So we've been praying for those lately, and we want to not just pray for those, but pray for all of our listeners and uh, pray for our political leaders and pray for the church during this time. We hope after all the smoke and has passed and we can see a light at the end of this tunnel that the church will stand strong and still love each other. Before we go into our uh, prayer time, uh, before we approach the throne of grace, we want to read James. James 5, I believe. James 5. James 5 says this. Uh, I, I can quote it, but... Uh, if you are listening, you can hear my pages turning to James 5, 
So, uh, James 5 says this. And we're going to read, of course, uh, 13 through um, 15. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Amen, amen, amen. We approach the throne of grace with your brother here. Our Father, which art in heaven, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Father of us all, and the creator, creator of it all. Father, we come thanking you for this wonderful, wonderful day that you allow all of us on this side of heaven to see. Oh, Father, we come thanking you for your son, Jesus, who bled and died on the on Calvary Mountain so long ago. Father, we Thank you for sparing your only begotten son for us so that we can, first of all, be connected back to you and and be saved and one day be with you through all eternity. Oh, Father, we come praying now for those that contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies and that you allow them to know that you are the great healer that you are the great physician, and you can heal their bodies to the utmost and restore them to their proper help and their proper strength. Oh, Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones to this dreadful disease. Father, we pray that you heal their hearts, comfort their hearts. Only you can comfort their hearts, Father, because you know was in their minds, was in their soul, and was in their hearts. Oh, Father, we come praying for the for our political leaders at this time. Father, we pray that you help them to do the right thing, help them to make the right decisions, help them to be unified so that we may have a unified society trying to help one another to live a better and protective life. Oh, Father, we come praying for the church, the body of Christ. Help us to maintain love for one another and love, first of all, love for you, Father, and love for uh, one another and uh, love for each other. Uh, Father, we come uh, praying, of course, for each listener that are listening to our program at this time, we pray, Father, that you comfort them. If they have caught the coronavirus, if you're listening, for those that are listening, Father, and Father, we pray that you comfort them. We pray, Father, for each listener again that's going through some mountains, going through some storms, going through some tough times, and they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Father, we pray that you help them to see the light and get to the end of the tunnel. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program here, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that we continue on being the light in every community that we are Coming on, we pray that Father that that we keep our, this program on the air, that we keep uh, chatting about the word from the word, and putting you first and foremost on this program and in our lives. And Father, we come praying for the message that we are going to try to deliver today. No condemnation. And Father, we pray that uh, if there be someone out there that need to 
accept you as their Lord and Savior, to accept your Son as their Lord and Savior, to accept your Son gift of eternal life. We pray, Father, that I may say something in the message, that you may guide my mouth and guide the words that I may say so that I may lift someone's soul and make them feel great uh, and uh, help someone to find that way. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for praying along with us today, and we hope that, as always, that we uh, prayed for something that was on your minds. All right, all right, all right. We we enjoy being with you today, Brother Oscar. If you could see through the radio, you could see the the smile that Brother Oscar is wearing on his face. Cause he is so happy. He is so joyful when I bring this program on to you and to rejoice in the Lord. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right. We are back. We are back. And we are so glad to be back with you, and we hope that you uh, feel the same. Amen, amen. You know, at this time, we always try to gear you to uh, listen to this program. We are so glad that this program is picking uh, up more and more listeners every day, and we won't keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> uh, you put a smile on Brother Oscar's face. You really are. And the way the way Brother Oscar feels, and I hope that each Christian that I feel, feel the same, that the word needs to go out, that Lost souls need to hear it and come to the Lord. Because there's so much out there that's going on in the world today. And everyone needs to hear the message of salvation. And we hope that uh, we are giving people uh, to the message of salvation and salvation itself. We hope that we are doing that. And if you're listening to the program at this time, let someone else listen to the program. Tell your friends about the program. And if you have someone who needs to, to hear it, the gospel and hear this, the message that we're uh, uh, teaching today, share it with them. Tell them about this program. Talk it up. Talk it up. Tell your community on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Pinterest, all, all the networks you come on. Let them know about this fine, fine program, uh, Chatting from the Word. And when you listen to our program, like our program. Be a part of us. Follow us. And when you follow us, the network will let you know when we are broadcasting. And, uh, and uh, you can email me your ideas about the show and the song that you want to hear here on chatting uh, from uh, the word. And also, uh, we are going to bring our TV show back, uh, chatting from the word TV program. And uh, you will see me live and in living color. I can say living color now because you will see me every Monday. And we will be taping the show at 10 o'clock Monday, this coming Monday morning, I believe. And, of course, we will share it uh, after the taping, and, and uh, we hope that we have the same crowd that we had uh, before. So just stay tuned for our TV program again. We'll be talking about issues that uh, you have uh, in the world that's that facing the, the Christians today and uh, the Christian life, because we as Christians, sometimes we just need to hear the good words and the good message of Jesus Christ and sometimes have someone to embrace us and help us to to live this Christian life because it is so much out there to give the Christian in a whole different way. So this is why Bill Oscar is bringing these two programs on, and this is why we are bringing our TV program on, uh, back on the air too. So we hope that you uh, catch uh, that program also. And of course, if you want to help us out financially, uh, you can do that 
I'll be, I'll be uh, happy that you do it. that be your desire because this program uh, do cost to put it on. It don't cost you to listen to it, but it costs Brother Oscar some money. The equipment, the time, the studio, and all that. That costs. So if you want to help us financially, you're welcome to do that. We do have an account on PayPal. And it, and uh once you pull up the PayPal webpage, it's under my email address, which again is uh, lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. We hope that you do that. We hope that you do that. And if you ever want to talk with your brother, you can always email me. I just told you what the email was. And you can always email me. And if you have any questions, you can. Uh, email the questions that you have, and if you, of course, if you want have a prayer request that you want us to pray for at, at the prayer time, uh, you can uh, let me know that then. And if you want to talk with Brother Oscar, you can know you can let me know that too. Or if you want to meet Brother Oscar in person, uh, you can invite him uh, to. Uh, your functions or your local congregation, maybe to speak or maybe just to have a seminar. I don't know. It depends on what your leadership wants to do. But I'd be happy to uh, do that. And, uh, of course, uh, you can leave a line or two on our webpage. Our webpage is OscarYorkPublishing.com. But why are you on our webpage? We do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for 2150 And our second book, Bridges of Friendships, which also sells for 2150 And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. But you don't need to purchase both books. You can either purchase both books or you can purchase one, which is 21 so, go visit OscarPublishing.com and order your book and read. Now, you know, Brother Oscar motto, when you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Amen, amen, amen. So, visit us at your publishing, <laughs> publishing.com and order your book and read. Now, you know our networks we come on. Uh, this is our networks. The internet networks that we come on is hardplayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, listennote.com, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play App Store and download Spreaker, Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite. So when Monday through Fridays come at 2 and Saturday at 7 in the evening, you be ready to have a beautiful and listen to a beautiful program with your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now the music that we play here, Chatting from the Word, we do not own none of the uh, copyrights to them. But what we want you to suggest that you do is to support these fine artists that we play here on Chatting from the Word. Buy their CDs, go hear them in concert, and let them know that you heard their song here on Chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're so, so happy to be with you today. Our last selection, of course, is going to be uh, uh, is going to be Joe 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 Snell. <laughs> well, we get sixty-five. Sometimes your mind uh, you have to get it all together. So <laughs> forgive, brother Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Please. <laughs> I, I don't mean to, to forget, but our next selection would be Joe Snell. Some kind of wonderful. And uh, we love this song here on Chatting from the Word. And here you go. Jesus is some kind of wonderful. And, and for, for your brother here, I could truly testify how wonderful our Lord really is. Not only did he die for us on the cross so long ago, but he is watching out for us here that are in him. He's, he's up talking with the Father every time, every time we fall and we come back to him and we ask him to forgive us and confess our faults. 
He's up there saying, Father, give that rascal one more time because he loves me. Amen, amen. He is. He is some kind of wonderful. All right, all right, all right. We hope that you've been enjoying the program up to this point, and we have put a snap in your Christian walk. All right. We would be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back. We're so glad to be with you today. And we hope that you all feel the same. And as I said earlier, keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Tell your friends about chatting from the word. Chat it up on Facebook. Share it. When I share it with this program with you on Facebook, share it with your loved ones. Share it with your friends. Chat it up. Talk it up. And love it up. <laughs> All right. Here's the message. It's the time for our message. Of course, we're coming from Romans 8, uh, verses 1 to 14. Our title that we are dealing with today uh, is No Con them nation and we hope that you listening listen to the to yesterday program that you uh heard the message and we are going to uh just begin from uh the first three verses and here in the chapter eight the apostle paul write these words he said there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. First of all, we must recognize that in Christ, in Christ, uh, to them that are in Christ, there is no condemnation. Let me first off, first start off by explaining what condemnation is because many of us in the religious world, uh, we may have different co- definition of words that we have in the Bible. Some of us, we, we, we grow up in, in certain denominations, and if we are not taught right to believe what the Scripture truly say, uh, we will definitely be confused and confuse others. But when we see the word condemnation, when we deal with the word condemnation, the, the meaning of it, let me tell you what the meaning of it. The meaning of the word, con, the word condemnation is a strong disapproval or censor. A strong disapproval or censor. And, and, and in the old law, in the old law, if you could not keep the old law, and I believe we covered this the other day, you either were stoned, or you were either ousted, or you was either dealt with right there. But in Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation, because in Jesus Christ, there is forgiveness. In Jesus Christ, there is mercy. In Jesus Christ, there is love. L-O-V-E. Whereas in the old law, uh, or if I may use this term, in the Old Testament, in the old agreement, it was weak. It didn't have forgiveness. It was weak because it wasn't bought with blood, uh, with the son's blood as the New Testament is brought with. So there is no, as Paul said, there is no condemnation 
to them which are in Christ Jesus. And many of us, many of us, when uh, we consider ourselves being in Jesus Christ, we, we really don't know what that means. Some of us, I had somebody tell me the other day, I'm in Christ. And I asked the person, what do that truly mean? Because many of us do not know what being in Jesus Christ truly, truly means. Basically, what being in Jesus Christ means is the fact that you are going to be obedient to his will and being obedient to the pattern that he set forth here on uh, in the, uh, this uh, world. But many of us, we were so confused about the pattern of who to follow. But turn with me quickly to Ephesians. And I just thought about this point. But turn with me to Ephesians. Uh, and we're going to read that Ephesians uh, 2. And here, Paul, I mean, Paul said, Thou, let's begin with verse 19. Oh, verse 18. Let's go up to verse 18. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. And the household of God is simply is the, the church of the body of Christ. And are built upon the foundation. You hear Brother Paul here? You are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the body fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord in whom ye also are built together for the habitation of God through the Spirit. Now most of us, if you're in the building or, or you're framed and you frame houses, you know what a cornerstone is. You know what cornerstone is. A cornerstone is where you lined up everything in that corner. You go by that measurement of that cornerstone and you do not go directly by that cornerstone that, that is in that corner of the foundation. You know what? Your whole foundation is going to be off if you don't put it exactly the way the cornerstone is going. Am I right about that? So in other words, Jesus Christ being the cornerstone means you got to do it exactly as Jesus said to do it. And here he said, now, and I built upon the foundation of the apostles. Now what that means, the apostles being the foundation. In other words, we can depend on them as direction. We can depend on them what they talk, we can depend on them, how they worship, and we can look at their worship and their foundation and go by it. That's what that means right there, my friends. Now, if you disagree, Brother Oscar, you can, you can always email me and let me know, Brother Oscar, I don't see it that way. But have book, chapter, and verse of a Bible, not, not what you think, uh, some man's book, but what the Bible says. Find it in the scriptures that the, that, 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 that the church is not built upon the foundation of the apostles. Because here Paul says it is. And Jesus being the chief cornerstone. Now that's what it means by being in Jesus Christ. And Paul said, here let me read it. I'm going to leave you with this thought. Paul said, there's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to end right there, and we're going to be picking up Thursday because tomorrow is our music time once again. And we hope that you join us in, on that program tomorrow. So again, we can lift up your day on tomorrow. It will be the Lord's will if we have a tomorrow. At this time, I'd love to say goodbye. I hate to say goodbye, but we must. We really enjoy being with you today, and we hope that we have put a snap in your Christian walk. Will you pray with your brother here?
Our Father, which art in heaven, thou be thy name, Father. We thank you for the time we had to spend with all of our listeners. Help all of our listeners to have a good evening, a good day, and a restful night. Father, we pray for the world today in which we're going through with the coronavirus, Father. We pray that they find a cure or pray for a way of slowing it down. And Father, we come thank you again for allowing us to bring this program on, allowing us to share this program with those to lift up that day and to and to help someone to find you and to love you. And for now, may the grace of God, sweet communion, or the Holy Spirit rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, we enjoy bringing you we enjoy chatting with you today on Chatting from the Word. Bye-bye, and may God bless. Bye-bye.